Hey guys, welcome along to a nice short and sweet practice today. My name is Shad and I am in my one-on-one -on -one yoga studio, Soulbird, and I wanted to film something that was easy for you guys to do at home, especially if you're just starting yoga, you're just figuring out a practice and you want something that you could commit to every day or maybe a couple days a week and it's really not that complicated. You can learn how to remember it and you'll start to just kind of ingrain it into your muscle memory. So we're going to look at sun salutations today and I remember when I was learning this was kind of like the foundation for uh, my practice. This is what really sparked this, I don't know, um, excitement, obsession with the movement of yoga. So we're going to have a look at our sun salutations and let me know how you go if you have trouble with this. Ideally if you could commit to doing these every single day uh, it would be amazing. If you commit to doing them and just trying it this once you know that's amazing too. see how you go with it so we're going to start um, in a child's pose have a little bit of a warm-up then we're going to get into sun salutations a great goal to have is three sun salutations a day um, that is something that I've moved through and then from there you can just gradually build your practice and see where you end up so we're going to start in child's pose and walk the hands out long in front of you. This is not a part of the sun salutation by the way if you're like super technical but um, it's just giving us a bit of space to drop in for the practice. Let the forehead be nice and heavy. Close your eyes down and just let yourself settle in here. Let the hips and the pelvis be nice and heavy. The forehead is resting on the mat. See if you can lengthen out your fingertips a little bit and we're just going to start with a bit of body awareness. So really notice your hips, notice the spine, notice the quality of your breath. Try to take slower, deeper breaths. One more round here. And then when you're ready, just lifting the gaze, coming up into a tabletop position, spread the fingers out nice and wide, and we're just going to gently drop the belly, moving through a little bit of cat-cow just to loosen up the spine. Exhale, rinse, round away, and let's move through three of these in total. So inhale to drop the belly, exhale, push round all the way back. One more time here, just gently dropping the belly, open the heart space, exhale, push around all the way back and then find a nice neutral tabletop. We're going to come into downwards facing dog, all right? So getting started, whether you're brand new or maybe you've been doing this for a little while now, I'm going to cue uh, all of the things so you know. So spread the fingers out wide, make sure that the hands are shoulder width distance apart. When you're looking down at your feet, make sure the feet are hip width distance apart. Oftentimes people put their feet together. No, we want a little bit of space between the feet, hip width distance, and I want you to think of rolling your inner thighs up and back. Notice if you are kind of buckling in the shoulders, push into the hands, draw your chest towards the thighs, activate through your core, and take a little bend in the knees if you've got those tight hamstrings there. Let's start to pedal out through the feet create a bit of movement. If this is your first time doing yoga or it's just brand new, it might be like a lot of information, but I promise the more that you do it, the more that you just start to remember it and it kind of becomes like second nature. You don't have to think about, you know, every cue. It's almost like when you're learning how to drive and it feels like, oh my gosh, you know, I need to check the rear vision mirror. I need to um, make sure that my seatbelt's on. I need to have my hands at 10 and 2. And, you know, now you don't even think about it. You just get in the car and you go. So we're going to do the same thing. When you're ready, look forward. Walk your feet all the way up to the top of the mat. We're going to go big toes to touch. Take a halfway lift. If you're feeling a bit stuck, I want you to bring your hands to your knees or your shins. So we're looking for this lengthening through the chest here to the front. Inhale, and then use your exhale to bow. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Big stretch up towards the ceiling. Exhale, your hands to heart center. And we're gonna start our three sun salutations from here. Inhale, stretch the arms out and up, lift. Exhale, bow the body all the way down. Halfway lift to lengthen. Maybe you've got the hands of the shins. Two hands onto the floor. Let's step back and find a high plank. So high plank, this is as well one that we might need to chat about. Notice if you're hanging here or if your bum is hanging up here somewhere. Find a nice plank position so it's a really nice and long straight line. 
Now I want you to check if your shoulders are kind of, your chest is sinking, push the mat away. For the first one, we're gonna to drop to the knees just to make it a little bit easier because it's quite a lot going on. Keep the elbows in, lower the chest down to the mat so everything touches the mat at once. From here, lift the chin, the chest, pull the shoulders back, upwards facing dog. If it's feeling like a little bit too much, maybe you just stay in cobra pose down here, working into your upwards facing dog, take your time. And then you push back, bend your knees to downwards facing dog. And we take three breaths here, maybe you do five. See how you're feeling, deep breaths. Still pedaling out the heels if you need to. Notice if the shoulders are kind of buckling forward, push into the hands, push into that kind of pointing finger knuckle and press to lift the hips back. When you're ready, look forward, come up onto the tippy toes, walk the feet all the way to the top of the mat. Two big toes to touch, we lengthen. Forward fold to bow. Inhale, rise all the way, lifting. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, stretch up. Forward fold to bow. Halfway lift. Good, stepping back for your high plank. And so you can decide if you've got like, you know, maybe you do physical activity <laughs> and so you're feeling quite strong anyway, then you don't need to drop the knees here. If you are like basic, basic, figuring it out, you haven't done this before, drop the knees down. Give yourself a bit of time to figure it out, lower down. Come to upwards facing dog, inhale. Downwards facing dog, lift the hips up high. That's it, find that breath here. Check your feet are still hip width apart. We don't want that kind of closing of the space in between the feet. Roll the inner thighs up and back. Find one more breath and then look forward. When you're ready, you could step or jump, okay? So you decide. Step or jump to the top, take a halfway lift. Maybe hands are on the floor or maybe you wanna take them to the shins, get a bit more lift. Exhale to bow. Inhale, rise up, all the way lift. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last one here, okay? Inhale, stretch up. Forward fold, exhale to bow. Halfway lift to lengthen. Step back, take a high plank. Choose to drop to your knees or not. Keep the elbows in nice and tight as you lower. Come to upwards facing dog. Downwards facing dog. Good. And so that is your three sun salutations done. So if you want to, you might just stop and just let that be what it is. I'm gonna go through two more just as an option if you wanna flow through them a little bit more, just so that you can kind of get it into your memory, maybe find a little bit more flow, and then you would have done five. <laughs> okay, so when you're ready, looking forward, step or jump to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, we lengthen. Forward fold to bow. Inhale to rise up. Exhale, hands to heart. One breath per movement. Inhale up. Exhale, bow. Halfway lift in. Two hands to your mat. Exhale as you step back and then take a deep breath in. Fully inhale. Lower down. Up dog. Down dog. Three breaths, we're gonna do one more, remember? Start to feel the energy of that, sun salutations. Nice, fiery energy. When you're ready, look forward, step or jump. Halfway lift. Forward fold bow. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Last time through here, lift up. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift. If you want to get really nifty, you're going to jump back to your high plank or you can step. Deep breath in, lower down. Upwards facing, downwards facing. Good. Last three breaths here. And just to finish everything off, let's meet at the top of the mat. When you're ready, step or jump. Half lift. Bow. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart. And there you have it. You have done 
three, maybe five sun salutations. And you know, you can feel the energy of that. So I invite you to take this little practice and maybe add it in. You might do it in the morning just to kind of wake up and get everything flowing. Uh, you might decide that you want to do it a couple of times. Maybe you do 10 sun salutations. You can feel that it brings a little bit of fire, a little bit of prana into the body. And that's what we want, especially when we're kind of warming up to get into a practice. We want to just let go of everything, allow the body to heat up and get that breath in a nice free flowing rhythm so i hope you enjoyed that if you did let me know and i'll make more short and sweet little videos like this so you can just learn as you go if you want any help one-on-one -on -one, feel free to come and visit me in person or send me a message and we can practice online i would love to hear from you and i'll put all the links below bye everyone